I put on a wig net. Hello everyone and welcome to my first cosplay makeup tutorial for Alecino from Genshin Impact. I put on a wig net already and inserted my contact lenses. I will link them down in the description. I know Alecino actually has that cross in her eye, but I couldn't find some of them yet, so I'm just using simple black ones. We first put on our wig net properly, of course. Hmm. And are looking stupid for the rest of the video. First I'm going to use some tape to lift my eyebrows. I will use around this much. It reaches from my eyebrows towards the middle of my head. I then cut it in half again because it's way too broad for my face. And for explanation before someone is coming at me for being racist and taping my eye, I'm simply lifting up my eyebrows because I have hooded eyes and the skin is just covering most of my eyes so my makeup is not really visible. And it's really annoying having to lift my eyebrows all day and for every picture aside from the fact that I get a headache from that so I'm just like taping it where it should be. You probably will need some practice to figure out how much to pull and how to like make it stick and hold to your head. Always like press a lot on it, it's really annoying if it comes off all the time. And also take care that whatever you're taping is symmetrical, it will look really weird and obvious you use tape if it isn't and you just don't want that, like you want to look neat. The first product I'm going to use is primer. Always prime your face before applying makeup. It will just help a lot with making it stick and last all day long. I simply apply it like a cream all over my face and on every area where I will use some kind of makeup product later. So don't forget to even like use it on your eyes or your eyelids. It really helped with my eyeshadow. I don't know if it's for everyone that way, but for me it works. After the primer is sunken into my skin, I'm going to use some foundation. I will link every product I'm using in the description below. When applying it, simply like tap it into your face with a sponge. You could also use a brush, whatever is more comfortable for you. There are also people using their hands, but I'm not a big fan of that. Just make sure to not press too hard and just even it out as much as possible. I also apply it on my eyelids, once again it helps a lot with eyeshadow, my eyes are still a bit hooded so it tends to smudge and I just feel like if there's a thicker makeup base it just sticks better in the end and lasts longer. It's time for some concealer now. I usually highlight each area after each other and blend it first, but for this video I just want to show you in one go where I will apply all of my concealer. So you can just pause and like do it yourself afterwards. In general you can use concealer on every area that you want to light up a little. So if you have any dark or red spots for example, you can also use some additional concealer there, even if I didn't use it in my face at that point. Also, I tend to tap in my concealer a little softer than my foundation to make more of it stick, but it should still be blended well in the end. To finish it off, we use some powder. You can, of course, just use any powder that you're comfortable with and that matches your skin tone. I'm using baby powder at the moment because it just worked well for me, but I think when I'm in Japan I might look for a proper powder as well. So now it's time to start with the eye makeup. And this will be the shade I'm using. I this time applied from the outer corner to the inner corner of the eye so that the color will be a little more vibrant at the outer corner. Also make sure to blend it well so that you will have a good base to continue on with your makeup. I will also soon make a video where I will explain all the terms I'm using and help you follow along to my or any other makeup tutorial easier. If you don't know how low you should extend your base color, I advise to squint your eyes a little and cover the area that is kind of pushed up a little then. Mm. 
Next up is the base shade. I'm usually using a blender brush for that, even if that's probably a bit unconventional. And for this makeup look, I'm using a reddish tone. As with the base, I'm going to apply the color from the outer corner to the inner corner of the eye and extend it at a maximum to the middle of the lid. I this time used a little flatter brush to make the line a little more straight because it was a little too smudged for me, but in general it should be fine with just whatever brush you're using for the base shading. Also don't forget to extend a little to your lower eye, it will give more depth and just complete the look a little more. On to the most important part of most of my looks, the eyeliner. For her eye shape I went for a thicker line on the upper lid and tried to make it mostly straight with a little wing at the end. To achieve that, draw the line a little away from your lash line and later fill in the white part. Always make sure it reaches up to your lashes because it will look so weird when there is a white stripe in between. I after extend the line towards the wing and fill in the parts that aren't completely straight and matching yet. I personally really hate having like little edges or in general uneven parts in my eyeliner so I always try to even it out as much as possible. That's also why I'm going to fix the inner corner a little because on top of the lid it was a lot broader than in the front and it just didn't look straight. See? It's much better now. Also, I can promise no matter how much you practice and no matter how good you are at doing eyeliner, there is always that one side that will just look better and it will never be completely symmetrical. Even if no one else will notice, I'm pretty sure you will see it. In this case, obviously, the second eye was the better one. <laughs> If you use liquid liner, definitely wait for it to dry. I'm breaking a little with my routine here and going to draw the lower eyeline first with a dark brown shade because I just felt like eyeliner was a little too strong for that type of look. I'm going to draw the line from the edge where the wing starts going outward towards the middle of my lower lash line. Also, like with the eyeliner, make sure that it's one connected line without any weird edges sticking out. It will just make your look look a lot more clean. In the same color I'm going to draw the lower lid line. I will squint my eye a little and draw on the line there and try to make it look as straight as possible. Also make sure the point under your pupil is the darkest one and blend it to each side from there on out. For me it also works best to draw it on my lid if I want it to look straight and don't have that poofy effect, but that's something you have to try it for yourself. Next up, we highlight some areas with a lighter shade. It's not the actual highlighting shade, but I want it to have a lighter base so that the glow later will be more visible. Also, I don't want to have an all glittery makeup, so I wanted to use a more matte tone to just make it look brighter. For this look, it's also really important to highlight the area under the upper lid line so that my eye will look a little wider and more open. Next up, we can do the upper lid line. I don't want to have a too strong or too defined line, so I'm simply going to shade the area under my eyebrow. After that, it's time for the actual highlight. 
I'm applying it to the inner corner of my eye. Then to highlight my lower lid line a little. And on the border to the shade that's my upper lid line. It will increase the contrast and therefore make it look more sharp without having a darker shade applied. Next up is mascara. To be honest, I cannot explain much for that, just apply it however your lashes will look the best. In best case they're a little upwards curled for my lashes, that kinda doesn't work well, but I tried my best. And I will also apply it to my lower lashes. For my eyebrows I'm mostly using eyeshadow as well, because it would be way too expensive to get a pencil for each color. I took a kind of grayish brown shade this time, because I, to be honest, do not own any gray eyeshadow that would have fit the wig. But in general I would advise you to go for a color that is also in your wig, because usually people just have the same facial hair as their hair on the head. And with that our eye makeup is finished. This is the perfect time to drink some water and stay hydrated because as soon as you applied your lip makeup you will probably not drink soon again. I then applied some primer to my lips as they are quite broken usually. And I figured out one of my lipsticks broke so a lot of stuff is pink now. And yeah next up is the lipstick. I'm using a nude, kinda orangey reddish shade. I will start by drawing an arch over my upper lip that will help make the lips a little more full and kinda a bit unnatural. I then just color in all of my lip in that shade. Also I make sure to fill in all the edges and the whole shape of my lip that I would like to be covered with lip makeup. I then took this flat brush that I started using for lipsticks and blend out the edges a little. It's not well visible on camera but they were like too straight kind that looked really unnatural and it should look a little faded because it should look like it's my actual lip. I then used the same reddish shade I used before and started by extending the corners of my mouth a little. That will give me a slightly smiling look and also add up to the volume. I then continue shading the inner part of my lips and extend it a bit on the top to get that kind of hard shapeish mouth. I also draw a shade under my lower lip, because that will just add some dimension to it, and reshade the upper lip again, but that's up to you how dark and popping you want it to be. After that it's time for the highlighter. I use it to highlight my upper lip as shown in the video, And also apply some of it of my lower lip, because I don't want to use a gloss, but it still gives that glowy finish. Then I apply some to my nose in a horizontal motion. And some to my cheekbones, where the light reflects anyways. The last part will be a stripe on my nose. One of the last step is the contouring. I'm going to use some eyeshadow here as well, because my contouring palette is way too warm for my skin tone and just doesn't match it. I reshade the part below my eyebrows as well, so that it connects well with my nose. Since I got pretty hard facial features, I decided to use some blush. Also again with some eyeshadow because I don't actually own brush. And I'm going to apply it along my cheekbones and under my eye. The goal is to make my face look more soft. That's pretty individual to every face. So I recommend looking up blush techniques if this one doesn't look good on you. 
Also, I think applying some on your nose makes a cute look too. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe and maybe leave in the comments what you would like to see next. If you like this tutorial, maybe even suggestions what I could improve in the future and yeah. See you next time!